everybody welcome back if you're new here welcome today i am going to be making some very easy diy grinch theme ornaments these are super super simple to make very easy to make and a whole lot of fun and the things you're going to need are some polyacrylic you're going to need some ornaments some plain plastic ornaments preferably shatterproof ones and glitter of course So to get the polycrylic into my ornaments, I am using this little pipette. You can get these on Amazon. And I'm just, I'm putting in just enough to coat the inside of the ornament. You just gently push on the um, plunger squeezy part. I started getting, noticing air bubbles, like really bad air bubbles in mine because I was just kind of pushing it too hard. Just push it softly. Don't like let it squirt out, if that makes any sense. But yeah, it'll prevent the um, air bubbles, which I figure out later. But you just roll the ornament around a little, make sure you're coating the entire inside, and then you lay it upside down onto a cup or balance it on something so the um, polyacrylic can drain out, the extra polyacrylic can drain out. And just let it sit a while until it starts to turn clear. All right, so now we are up to one of my favorite parts. It's time to add the glitter. Now, since I am trying to do a Fooville themed um, tree, I needed bright, vibrant neon colors. I'm not exactly sure why I grabbed this blue. It was just so beautiful and holographic. I, I was intrigued. It was pulling me in. Um, of course, it doesn't match the decor that I'm putting on this tree, but whatever. Um, <laughs> but obviously you can do any kinds of colors and you do it the same you add the glitter the same way you did the poly polyacrylic you just put it in turn it i like to put my finger over it and shake it up a bit and then tap off the excess put it back on the um cup to let it completely dry it's again like i said super simple no rhyme or reason, no right or wrong way to do this. Pick all the colors that you want and just go for it. my Cricut Explorer 2 to cut out some various shapes and stuff that I want to add to my ornaments. Now, 
you don't have to have a Cricut in order to do this. You could add stickers to this if you wanted to. You could um, buy vinyl and just cut out certain shapes. I just did some random dots and squiggly lines and zigzags and stuff and swirlies because I thought it was Whoville-like, Whoville-esque, because these are supposed to be for my Grinch tree. So, um, yeah, that's why I got these different colors and shapes and sizes. And I also have some, um, Grinch faces that I'm going to, um, add to these as well. And it's pretty easy with the circles and the swirls. I just kind of pick them and place them down kind of everywhere. I wanted these to be just kind of wacky. And who will like? If you know, if you know, then you know. <laughs> if you know, then you know. Cause you know the girl, the y'all know. Leave me alone. <laughs> I was having a little bit of trouble with this um, Grinch face just because I made it a little bit bigger than I wanted to, but I didn't feel like cutting it out again. <laughs> so I was very determined to make it work and it looks really good. I suppose the size is okay, but just working on a curved surface like that definitely makes it more difficult. Um, if I had the flat ones, it would have been much easier. The flat ornaments, I mean, would have been a lot easier. But yeah, those uh, those round ones are uh, they're something. <laughs>
So I started having a similar issue um, with this one, with the O, um, because the ornament is so round, the O just wasn't laying properly and it was folding over and bubbling and I could not for the life of me get it to lay flat. So I just gave it a little snippety do, <laughs> a little snippety do. Uh, I amuse myself too often. Anyway, um, I just snipped it a little and um, that worked out. You can really, you can't really even, you barely can tell. I don't think you can tell at all. I mean, unless you're like really, really close to it. But other than that, yeah, it looks pretty geed. If I do so, so myself. Okay, so they are completely dry. I let them sit for about five hours to maybe overnight. Um, really depends. I'm usually too impatient to wait overnight, but I did get busy doing other things. So these sat overnight. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is it. You just pop the tops back in. They pop in very easily and they are ready for your Christmas tree. And this is the final product. I do plan on making more of these, only letting my little ones decorate them because um, we do need a few more on the tree, but that's it. These are super easy, super simple. Have fun if you decide to make these. I also sell them. I've been selling them for like the last two years around this time. So if you don't want to make your own and you would like me to make them for you, then just message me on IG, Instagram, um, or my Facebook. I will leave all that information down in the description box. Thank you all so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I will have more easy and fun Christmas crafts for y'all coming up. So if you're not subscribed, please, please consider hitting the subscribe button. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching. Oh, and like the, like the video too. Like the video too, please. If you liked it though. Yeah, only if you liked it. But if you didn't like it, don't dislike it. Just leave. <laughs> okay, thank y'all so much for watching. And I will catch, catch you all in the next one. Bye.